everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on this channel you're welcome and um, I hope you stay I hope you subscribe and I hope you like this video um, a bunch of helpful tips for people dealing with stress at work figure out what exactly is it about work that gives you the emotional stress what exactly is it about work that stresses you out so much if it's because of the job itself if it's within your power to change your job then work towards doing that I know changing the job isn't easy so I understand that it's a transition but it's the people that you should know that no matter where you go chances are you're probably going to find people that are hard to work with people that are absolutely rude ridiculous the reason you're so stressed is so important so for example if the reason why you're so stressed at work is because you have too much on then figure out ways to make that better sometimes the reason people might give you so much to do at work is because they think you're not doing enough so sometimes highlighting what you have going on suggesting whether or not they want you to drop what you're doing to do their task can make them rethink about giving you so much work and in turn that should help reduce the pressure on you that should in turn actually help your emotional well-being at work create a good morning routine you need a really really good morning routine that will pick you up and give you energy for the day so for example i personally i like to listen to podcasts like i listen to really inspiring really motivational podcasts um i listen to sermons i listen to just upbeat inspiring things i like i love listening to Potter's house teachings i love listening to michael todd i love listening to like i listen to like tony robbins podcast everyone's morning routine should be different it should be personal to you it should be what works for you and sometimes i set targets outside of work as well as a way to keep me you know grounded not just at work but i think oh i still have time i still have to go get that done and then there's the excitement of having that task that has nothing to do with work to get that done it's always create good boundaries now I, you need to have a healthy distance between you and your work now i know we're emotionally attached to our work especially when it's something you're doing something you're passionate about however it's important to create a healthy distance between you and work now work is a huge part of your life but it is not your life and i feel like it's so important that you should see it like that when you think about work being your life then work is your identity as a general rule always create healthy boundaries with your emotional attachment to what your work is make your toilet breaks count now i'm not saying you should go and sit in the toilet for ages bro i'm not saying that you might get fired <laughs> and for good reason so don't do that what i'm saying is when you go into the right, when you go into the toilet or whatever and you go there for like what two minutes or whatever that's two minutes that you could mentally get yourself back into shape every day i like to have like a coat that i remember that inspires me that motivates me to get on with life and just focus and just get, have a, such a great day so i remind myself each time I, when I when I go to the toilet break, I remind myself about that quote. I'm just like, okay, so for example, I think like happiness is a choice. And then I remind myself, you know, what's how stressed I am? I'm like you're not stressed, you're fine, happiness is a choice. You know, you set out this morning to have such a great day, that's what you're going to have. This is just a moment. I breathe, I give myself a minute, I calm my nerves, I get back in there with my head in on high and just ready to get on with it. But yeah, that's what I feel like. Toilet breaks make them come to you. And another thing I would say that really, really helps is try as much as possible to have a balanced lifestyle. I know it's hard, it's hard. Sometimes work happens and work is just a lot and you just don't have time or the energy, frankly do anything anything else outside of work but I feel like it's so important to have something else that you love doing now don't ever let work take your hobbies away from you don't ever let work take things that are important to you away from you because at the end of the day work is a place where they pay you you know to work on their dreams so honey if your your work isn't your dream best believe you need to be working at that place then working outside of that place on your dreams on your ambitions on your 
things that make you happy and personally i feel like the key to dealing with emotional distress is a lot more inwards than outwards it's getting to a point where you decide that I have the ability to determine how I deal with this. Yes, yeah, stress will come left, right, and center. Things will come to put pressure on you. Things will come that will try and get your attention from what you need to be doing. But when you rely on the fact that you know you draw that strength from within and to help to assist when you have a good morning routine that sets your mind up for success. Thank you, Davina, for choosing this subject. I am so happy. Um yeah, like I think filming this, I kind of had to really think about what I do, and because I didn't do it, like I don't like to come here and like tell you how to live your life without there being something that I do that I feel works for me, and I hope that it works for you as well. So I enjoyed filming this video. On that note, thank you just so much for watching this video again, and I hope you leave a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you leave comment in the comment section follow me on ig as well instagram yes um i have some cool stuff coming up on youtube soon so stay tuned for that um this coming year i want to do a lot of collabs i will talk to you more about that in a different video but yes on that note thank you so much and i will see you later